today on Horseland. They're here! Twin bulls come to visit Horseland. But the older horses are so jealous. Show the big horses how it's done. That they behave badly and cause cute little cream and sugar to run away. I miss mommy. They'll be here soon. Oh, I wonder what that's all about. I've got the blanket. Here's some hay. My, my, my. They certainly are busy. Shep, Angora, do you know what's going on? They're getting ready for a couple of visitors. Visitors? I can't wait to meet them. I can. Ugh. We don't need more horses clapping around here. It's not always easy having somebody new around, but I hope we'll all make them feel at home. Yeah, whatever. Company! Oh, company! Ooh. <sighs> I can't believe we're going to have twin foals here. Too bad their mom's sick, but it'll be fun having them for a few days till she gets better. I've never taken care of a foal before, much less two. I've helped take care of my little sister, Lissa, but my parents always did most of the work. Taking care of a foal is a lot of work. And with twins, it'll be twice the work. Can't wait. Sounds like fun. I hope they don't get homesick. It's a big change coming to a strange stable and leaving their mom, even for a few days. Well, I hope they don't get in the way. They're just foals, Aztec. I don't need a couple of foals under hoof. They're here! Come on, Scarlet. Let's show them a real Horseland welcome. Come on, Cream. Come on, Sugar. This is your new home for a few days. Oh! Oh! Aren't they just the sweetest things you ever saw? Let's get these two into the stable. Let me do it, Bailey. Oh, I want to. I don't mind. Neither do I. I can handle it. No, I'd better do it. Don't worry about them. They're just excited you're here with us. We'll show you where you'll be staying. I said I would. No, let me. Hold on a sec. This place is kind of nice, isn't it, Sugar? <laughs> I think they like it. These blankets will keep them nice and warm tonight. Hey, those are my blankets. Won't hurt to share them one night, Aztec. Maybe, just one night. Night, sweeties. Tomorrow we'll show you all around Horseland. Good night. Sleep well. Good night, Cream. Night, Sugar. He always rubs my nose good night. He just forgot in all the excitement. Everything will be back to normal tomorrow. It's still out there, Sugar. And it's looking at us. I... I'm scared, Cream. I want Mommy. Can you keep it down in there? Sorry. They're just foals, Aztec. They're not used to sleeping in a stall without their mother. No reason to keep everybody else awake. Is everything all right? We're sort of scared. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Something's watching us. Where? Out there. That's only the moon. My mother used to tell me there's a great horse living in the moon. Can you see his face? I see it. Me too. Mama told me he's always up there, watching over little ones, keeping them safe while they sleep. Wow, look at them. That's what I want to do when I grow up. Kareem, 
You look just like the big horses. Come on, it's fun! Molly, come see! Come see the little horses! Whoa! Hey, everybody, look at this! Aren't they the cutest things you've ever seen? They look so proud of themselves. <laughs> That's it. Show the big horses how it's done. I think I'm gonna be sick. Cream and sugar are just trying to do what we're doing. It's sweet. <laughs> Hi, big horses. Oh, Lissa! Pretty horses. Lissa! Mm. I know the horses wouldn't hurt you on purpose, but there could be an accident. They're so much bigger than you are. What? We'd never hurt anybody. Let's look at some horses more your own size. <gasps> See the baby horses? <laughs> I guess we're not their favorites anymore. Oh, Calypso, that's not it. Babies always get more attention. Babies need more attention. I don't know, Scarlet. I think Aztec's right. Things have changed around here. Time for your morning ride. Morning, babies. I hope you slept all right. <laughs> oh, you think you found something. You like carrots? You two behave yourselves while we're out for our ride. I'll see you when we get back. There's a good baby. Morning, Calypso. Let's get you ready, girl. Oh, sorry, Calypso. Guess I fed your treat to cream and sugar. I'll bring more tomorrow. Promise. What's wrong with you? Hurry up, Molly. We're all saddled up. I'm trying, but Calypso's not cooperating. Honestly, you're more trouble than Lissa. There she is, finally. Sorry, Calypso just doesn't seem to be herself today. Oh, come on, Calypso. Yeah! Honestly, what's eating you, girl? Just look at those two! Ha! That is so cute! No, Calypso, not now! I said stop it, Calypso! Huh. cute too, Calypso. No, she's just being silly. Don't encourage her. What's got into you? You're acting like a big baby. I thought that was what you liked. Here you go! <laughs> no shopping now. There's plenty for everybody. <laughs> you 
two have noses for trouble. But there's no use crying over a little spilled water. Those little cults are real cut-ups. Ah, <laughs> oh, Aztec! Watch what you're doing. Now I gotta replace this straw. I don't know what's wrong with you. He thought it was funny when those two did it. Aztec, you don't have to be jealous of the little ones. Ha! I'm not jealous of them. Bailey still cares about you. You'll always be special to him. I know that. But those two foals are taking up all of Bailey's time. I want to go home, Cream. Those horses don't want us here. Yeah, when I first saw the big horses, I wanted to be just like them. You're not going to keep us awake all night again, are you? Sorry. We won't do it again. Good. I miss Mommy. I do too. Maybe we should go home. Can we? Don't see why not. Follow me. How'd you do that? I watched Scarlet open her stall the first night we were here. Now, let's go, but be quiet. Which way is home? That way, I think, on the other side of the hills. I hope the horses aren't acting as strange as they were yesterday. They were like a bunch of big babies. Oh, look! Cream and Sugar's stall is open. The foals are gone! Let's go find Bailey! Good riddance, says I. Now maybe we'll get some attention. That's no way to talk, Aztec. Cream and Sugar are just babies. Who knows what trouble they could get into? We have to find them. What's wrong, Shep? What's happened? The foals are missing. Check the paddock and the arena. I'll look in the meadow. They aren't in the meadow, arena, or the paddock. Oh! Cream saw me open my stall on their first night here. Hmm, who'd have thought the little foal was so smart? Young foals are always eager to learn. Remember how we were at that age? They sure picked up our gates fast enough when we were practicing dressage. I know how we can find cream and sugar. I put these on the foals the first night they were here. Their scent should be all over them. Here, Shep, can you get a scent? <laughs> Go find him, boy! I think we're lost, Cream. I wish we'd never left Horseland. Well, I'm not going back. Those big horses don't like us. We need to get back to Mom. But which way do we go? There! I think we should go that way. I lost him. He's walking in circles now. Hope he picks up their trail again. Don't worry, I will. I hope we find them before night. I don't want to think about cream and sugar, cold and alone. We should have made them feel more welcome at Horseland.
Well, I don't like this trail. We gotta keep going, sugar. But where are we going? I'm not sure. You think they went in there? They are in there! What do we do now? Remember what Scarlet said? There's a great horse up there in the moon, watching over us. I'm sure he can help us! I'm tired, Cream. We can stop here for a while. We can't go any farther. We'll have to turn back. But we can't leave without Cream and Sugar. They're not here. We have to double back and start looking again. I think I know where they went. Where's Scarlet? They went looking for the moon. Looking for the what? What are you talking about, Scarlet? They're looking for a place they'll feel safe. What? They were safe at Horseland. I think they knew you and Aztec were upset, even if they didn't know why. So they decided to leave. I never wanted that. I just didn't want them hogging all the attention. They never meant to, Aztec. They didn't want to make you feel jealous. It just happened that way. I hope we find them. I think they're up there, somewhere. <gasps> I see them! Look! There they are! There's another trail on top of the canyon. We can get them up there. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. You had us scared for a while. We'll rest the horses a while, then start back. Where were you two headed? We were trying to get home. We thought you didn't want us at Horseland. Sure we wanted you there, at least at first. When my owner started paying so much attention to you, I got a little jealous. I never had to share his attention before, and I blamed you. But it wasn't your fault. I know Molly was a little jealous when her sister first came along. But Molly is really close with Lissa now. I should have remembered that things sometimes change when there's a new addition to a family. We're all family at Horseland. And you're our newest members. Will you come back with us? Oh, sure. right! Is that cute or what? <laughs> <laughs> Should we start back? I think we're ready. Goodbye, Cream. Goodbye, Sugar. Say hello to your mom for us. Goodbye. See you again soon. We'll remember everything you taught us. See you around. Take care. Don't go getting yourselves into trouble. Our horses sure are noisy today. I think they'll miss the little guys as much as we will. It'll be good to have the stable back to normal. But I'm gonna miss those foals. I guess we sorta love those kids, huh? <laughs> sorta. How'd you like a good, long grooming, Calypso? And you too, Aztec? Come on, let's get going. I've got extra carrots in the stable. Oh, I'm so glad they changed their minds about cream and sugar. It isn't always easy when somebody new joins the family. Oh, but it worked out, didn't it? Yep. Love is a kind of spreading thing, and there's always plenty to go around. <laughs> <laughs>